Welcome everyone to my channel. Today we have a challenge on the board. The question says 3 to the power of x plus 3 to the power of minus x equal to 4 root 3 all over 3. What then will be the value of x? Now before we go into today's challenge, if you're new here, kindly subscribe. And when you subscribe, turn on the bell notification button because here we try our possible best to uh, drop new videos every day. Okay, this is All I Mouse TV, and my name is Jax Animal. Now let's go into today's challenge without much waste of time. We put down our solution to the question. So we have solution. Right. Let's put down our question. The question is 3 to the power of x plus 3 to the power of minus x equal to your 4 root 3 or all over 3. Okay. Now, the first thing we're going to do here is to handle this negative exponent. Okay. According to the law of indices, it says that if we have something like this, if you have a to the power of minus x, this is 1 all over your a to the power of x. Okay. In other words, the 1 and the division sign has taken the place of the minus sign. Okay. So if we go by this law, we can rewrite what we have here as our 3 to the power of x plus 1 all over 3 to the power of x. Then equal to your 4 root 3 all over 3. All right. From here, let's eliminate this 3 to the power of x here by multiplying all through by this 3 to the power of x. So if we do that, we're going to have here 3 to the power of x multiplied by 3 to the power of x there plus 1 all over 3 to the power of x times 3 to the power of x equal to 4 root 3 all over 3 times 3 to the power of x. Okay, now you'll discover that this we go with this. Here we are left with 1. Then according to the law of indices, we are having the same base. And so we can add the exponent. And so this will give us here 3 to the power of x plus x plus 1 for this equal to your 4 root 3 all over 3 times 3 to the power of x. Again, let's eliminate this denominator again here. This 3 we have here. Okay. So for us to eliminate this, we multiply through by 3 again. So this we give us here. And so we can equally rewrite what we have here as your 3 to the power of 2x times 3 plus 3 times 1 equal to your 4 root 3 all over 3 times 3s times 3. Okay, now from here, this 3 we go with this 3. Okay, now we can rewrite this as our 3 bracket 3 to the power of 2x close bracket plus 3 equal to here we will now be left with your 4 root 3 or into 3 to the power of x close bracket. Now we can rewrite this 3 to the power of 2 here because we are having 3 to the power of x. So let's bring out 3 to the power of x. According to the law of indices again, which says that if you have your a to the power of m n, this is same thing as a to the power of m close bracket all to the power of n. So let's bring out these two in here. Okay. So let's proceed on this side. So let's proceed from here. Okay. Let's take our three here. So we have three into three to the power of x all to the power of two lurks. 3, they equal to 4 root 3 into our 3 to the power of x, close bracket. 
let's move this quantity to the left hand side of the equation so if we do that we'll end up having three bracket open three to the power of x r squared minus four root three bracket three to the power of s close bracket plus three we're left with zero on this other side of the equation all right if you check here we are having three to the power of x raised to power two and here we're having three to the power of x so what comes to mind here is a quadratic equation so let's try to formulate a quadratic equation from this expression here so for us to get a quadratic equation from here what we do here is to bring in another alphabet to represent 3 to the power of x, 3 to the power of x here. So let's use our u. So we can say let, at this point, let our u equal to 3 to the power of x. So wherever we see um, 3 to the power of x, we put in u there. And so we're going to have this to be your um, 3 to the to 3u to the power of 2 minus 4 root 3u plus 3 equal to 0. Now you discover this is a quadratic equation. Okay, because we're having the highest variable to be 2. Okay, so this is a quadratic equation. So what do we do? We cannot solve this using the factorization method. So let's use the formula method to handle this. And so we go ahead and say using the formula method, using the formula method using the formula method. So let's solve this quadratically. Our formula says, with the letter we have here, now we're going to have here u equal to minus b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4 ac all over 2a. We go ahead to bring out the value of a, b, and c from here. Our a from our equation is the coefficient of u squared which is 3 and the coefficient of u here is uh, b which is minus 4 root 3 and c is our constant term which is 3. So we go ahead to impute these values into our formula here. Okay so this now implies that our u equal to minus look at our b so bracket minus 4 root 3 plus bracket plus minus the square root okay square root of b again we have minus 4 root 3 r squared minus 4 into our a is 3 so we have 3 plus bracket bracket and RC is 3 also. So 3 plus bracket. Let's extend this. And everything and all over your 2 into 3. All right. I believe there is no confusion as far as this simplification is concerned. So we go again. We open up this. Minus multiply by minus will give us positive. So we have a U equal to your plus. 4 root 3 plus minus the square root of yeah we use this square to multiply minus 4 years that will give us positive 16 so we're going to have here 16 times this square we cancel this square root here okay so 3 will be exposed here and so we are left with 3 here let's put this in bracket minus 4 times 3 will give us 12 times 3 will give us uh, 36. So we have here 36. Everything all over 6. Again, let's continue on this other side of the board. So we continue on this other side. We want to deal with this. So we use your 3 to multiply 36. So this return gives us ru is equal to 4 square root of 3 plus minus the square root of 3 times 16 will give us 48. So we have here 48 minus 36. 36, everything all over 
your six. We'll go ahead with this, we're going to have right, so the square root of three plus minus the square root of 48 minus 36 will give us 12 all over six. Now we can break down 12, okay, according to um, sword. If we have here, yeah, your 12 cross will be written as 12 equal to the square root of 4 times 3. Okay, and this is the same thing as square root of 4 times the square root of 3, which is the same thing as 2 into the square root of 3. So 12 can be written as 2 root 3. So this will now end up giving us 4 root 3 plus square root of 2 root 3 all over 6. Very easy. Let's split this. So we're going to have your 4 root 3 plus 2 root 3 all over 6 or your 4 root 3 minus 2 root 3 all over 6. 4 root 3 plus 6. 2 root 3 will give us, yes, 6 root 3 all over 6. Or 4 root 3 minus 2 root 3 will give us 2 root 3 all over 6. Yes, something is common. So 6, we go with 6. 2 year 1, 2 year 3. So when I have RU is equal to your root 3 or your root 3 all over 3. Okay, now we've gotten the value for our u, but at first we don't have u, so we go to where we have uh, let u be equal to 3 to the power of s in order for us to get the actual value of x. Okay, so from here we cannot say recall, we cannot say recall, as we said, let u be equal to 3 to the power of x. Okay, let's proceed from here. Okay, so we take case one. Let's take case one, case one. We have our u equal to your root three. So wherever we see you, let's put in three to the power of x. So this will now give us three to the power of x is equal to root three. What we do here is to rewrite this here. So this will have here also be written as 3 to the power of s equal to 3 to the power of 1 all over 2. Hmm. Yeah. So this 3 can go with this 3. Okay. Since the basis are the same, they will take care of themselves and we can equate the exponent. And so this will now give us x is equal to 1 all over 2. This is the first value for our x. We have case two. All right. Our case two says your u equal to root three all over three. We put in three here first, so we have your three to the power of x rather equal to root three all over three. So we have three to the power of x is equal to. Again, we can rewrite this as. You have 3 to the power of 1 all over 2 all over 3. This is all over, uh, all to the power of invisible uh, 1, yeah. Okay, let's see how to manipulate this. We can apply the division law of indices here. We can rewrite this as our 3 to the power of x equal to 3 to the power of 1 all over 2 then minus 1. This one is all of visible 1. Again, here, this will now gives us x equal to your 3. If we carry out this subtraction here, we're going to have here to be minus 1 all over 2. Okay? So, we now discover that the basis are now the same. And so, it will take care of themselves and we quit the exponent. And so, this will give us x is equal to minus 1 all over 2. This is the second value for our x. Okay, so we've gotten the first value. We've got our s to be 
are equal, uh, positive 1 all over 2. Okay? So these are the two possible values for our x. So we have this to be x1, this are x2. Okay? These are the two possible values. Q, E, D. All right. So this are the solutions. Now, if you want to confirm if these things are correct, you can substitute this value into this equation. I will discover that it will give us the correct root. Now, if you've learned something good from this video, give the video a thumbs up. If you are new here, do not forget to subscribe. This is Online Mass TV, and my name is Jigs Anemo. Remember, I love you so much, and all of us at Online Mass TV love you so much. Bye for now.